Pinari, good character. At first I thought, he's okay. And then I put Electro on his team and I changed my mind. This character is very good and you don't necessarily realize it. I saved my daily commissions. This one's in Sumeru, so that's, oh, okay. I can almost guarantee that these enemies will not last very long. I don't know if they'll make it past my setup even. They will, I lied. Okay, that one didn't. Ah, stop. Could you, could, oh my, could you not? Where are you? So that thing's dead. Let's do this. Do this again. I think that thing's dead. Yeah, everything is dead. Okay, what am I doing? Oh, there's so many. I did it. What kind of enemies will there be this time? Fatui? I guess they're just literally everywhere. Oh, the targeting, man. The targeting isn't the best. Oh. Okay, well, the shields are quite, uh, not fun. Okay, let's walk this way now. Bounce on the mushrooms five times? What? What is this? Great. Wonderful commission. I'm so glad that they added that. Where's the enemies? I want to defeat the enemies. Is there more enemies here? 10 hours? Okay. Fine. I'll do the bosses. I'll do Electro one first, and then I'll do Dendro one, because I can. What's annoying about this flower is that it, the shield starts on its eyeball, which is unfortunate. And it's such a big shield, too. Why did I get an achievement? What? Can you please... Thank you! Okay. Now watch, this thing's gonna die in like three seconds now. Bah. Great. I love bosses whose shield is like 90% of the fight and then the rest is just so easy. Also, I hate how in order to get the resources that you need from these to level up Tainari, you literally cannot use Electro or Fire, which are like the two strongest elements in the game right now. You have to use Dendro or Hydro, which sucks. See, this one, oh! Okay, Tainari. Understandable. Kill the thing. Kill it. Goodbye. I would like Bennett Circle, please. Nope. Okay. That's fine. The thing's gonna die. There we go. Alright, let's do old bosses now. How does he fare against old bosses? Oh, buddy! Hey! How you doing, man? Alright, let's do this, and this, and then this, and then this. And let's put Tainari down, and then so I don't die. Bolt. Yes, please. Wonderful. That's unfortunate. Well, at least I have my ult, and it takes a while for these things to set themselves up. But as you can see, when you put Tainari with pretty much any- Oh, you are so great. Good thing that my entire team is ranged. I should have stayed in the circle. It's fine. That thing auto-targets. So, uh, do you see what I mean? Tainari is good, you just need the right teammates. That thing dies very fast. Let's move on to Magu Kenki. And also, I like how they buffed Electro too. So all of the characters that were made to be like very good and just do very good raw damage because they're Electro and there's no Electro buffing reaction, so you can just do very good raw damage like Raiden Shogun hitting a million damage in one hit. Well, guess what? Now those characters do more damage because they buffed Electro because it was the weakest element and now those characters are absolutely broken, even the ones that were already broken before. I actually enjoy that. It's one way to combat power creep, and also that means they actually buffed Kaching to the moon. Like, to the moon, okay? Because Kaching has some of the best electro application in the game. Unfortunately, I don't have a good set for Kaching. I only have just a two piece Thundering Fury, which is probably fine. Ye Miko is still doing fine, even though I don't have a good set on her, and so is Fischl. Like, neither of them have elemental mastery sets. Fischl just has two Thundering, two Glad. Alright, let's see how. Raiden Shogun Fairs. Fun. Fun. Okay. Now we can actually play the game. Fantastic. Never mind, I lied a little bit. Oh, wonderful. Let me, oh boy, let me shoot my charge shots. Thank you. Oh my. Which one is the U? This one? Okay. Thank you. Okay, do that. Do that, press these three, and now I do this. And then press this button. 
Never mind, it did nothing. Woohoo! This is not fun. I am on 154 HP. Stop hurting Bennett. Game mechanics. I'm not gonna use Bennett's circle because my ults are going to be charged in like two seconds and then I will kill the enemy. Wonderful! Okay. Now I do this and 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 then it dies. That was actually one of the easiest Raiden Shogun fights I have ever done. So yeah, anyways, that's Tainari. He's pretty cool. I like this character a lot. I was starting to have some regrets about pulling for him, uh, and now I don't, because he is very good. He is the best Dendro damage dealer in the entire game, guys. Can you believe that? I was about to say the best one ever, but that's probably going to be wrong, like, very fast. Uh, anyways, this is Tainari. He's pretty cool. He's really cool, actually. I like this character a lot. Don't regret pulling him. You should pull for him too because this is the only chance you get to have him guaranteed he's probably not going to have a rerun since he's going on the standard banner um that's it bye